This is the true story behind Inglorious Bastards. Jewish Americans who were refugees of Nazi Germany that go back behind the lines for vengeance. It's a situation where the truth is way stranger than fiction. War has been raging in Europe for four years. All along, America has been waging a secret war. The OSS has been training commandos to parachute behind enemy lines. One of the most successful of these missions was Operation Greenup. Operation Greenup was made up of several men that were refugees from Nazi Germany that were Jewish. The team is sent into the Austrian state of Tyrol on a near suicidal mission. The plan is perilous and near impossible. In order to enter the region undetected, the team will fly over the Alps and parachute onto a glacier, then make their way to Oberperfus. This will be their base for forays into Innsbruck, the capital of Tyrol and a major rail center in the region. It is the seat of power for Governor Franz Hofer. Eventually, the team arrives at a mountainside hamlet. They claim to be an alpine ski unit that's gotten lost. The messages begin to flow, filled with critical intelligence, border activity, training exercises, troop movement. April 20, 1945, the Reich is collapsing. But in Innsbruck, the Nazis under Hofer's command are holding out. The Gestapo execute last minute security sweeps. In Innsbruck, Fred is taken to the Gestapo prison. His interrogation begins. I had a cyanide pill which I tried to bite on, but it fell out when they hit me. So I couldn't kill myself. Fred is held in the cell for several days. Franz Hofer wanted immunity from war crimes. Fred Mayer had no authority to grant that immunity, but in one of the great bluffs of the war, said that he would protect Hofer in exchange for surrendering Innsbruck. Operation Greenup success saved untold lives, shortened the war on the Italian front, and spared historic Innsbruck from being destroyed. <laughs> 